Previously on Horsepower, everyone headed off to a prestigious show to fine tune their game before the big McClay final. Chelsea and Anatello met disaster. You know what I call that? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But Maggie, Natalie, and Maria made it to the top four. Meanwhile, Lindsay took a break from the horse show world. This just brings you back down to earth. Now, the riders are gearing up for the last big competition before the McClay. If Brian can win here, she'll be on her way to making history. Chelsea will attempt to redeem herself. And long shots Lindsay and LV will get one last chance to qualify for the McClay final. The pressure is on. To win the biggest prize in teenage riding, you have to have one thing, a great partner. This year, two rival barns will go head to head to win it all. The McClay final, the most anticipated competition of the year, is just two weeks away, and everyone is feeling stressed. Trainer Frank Madden has one more opportunity to get his horses and riders ready at a junior medal final in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This medal final is one of the top four in the nation, and it's especially important for Frank's star team, Brianna and Logan. My horse Logan and I um, have already won two finals, um, so we have two left to go, and the odds are pretty much against us, but if anyone can get me there, it's definitely Logan. If they win the Harrisburg medal, Brian will have won three of the four junior equitation finals. That's only been accomplished once since Harrisburg started 60 years ago. And if they win the McClay medal, Brian will be the first rider ever to win all four. But before Brian faces the big challenge in Harrisburg, she's off for a little R&R. &R. So Brianne's coming to my house. She, I don't know, we've been friends for since we were riding ponies, and she's never been to my house. Brianne's best friend, Sloan, lives in the Plains, Virginia, in Horse Lover's Paradise. <laughs> don't do anything wild. Go up there and don't get Brianne hurt. She's a guest. Sloan has always been a little bit of a terror when she gets up in the mountains. She likes to, she likes to ride real fast. <laughs> this is the best sport. <laughs> For the teams that ride at this elite level, their best friends are also their fellow competitors. We're not really competitive against each other. I mean, we are in the sense that we both want to do well, but we both equally want each other to do well. Two weeks ago, Lindsay and LV suffered a heartbreaking defeat when they didn't make it through their McClay regional qualifiers. But they have one more chance to make it to the McClay final if they place in the top 10 at the Harrisburg show this weekend. The pressure will be intense. But tonight, it's time to cut loose. Lindsay has her first dance of the year. Right now, I am going to make sure my mom has everything and she's going to take care of the rest of my stuff for me so I can go and play Cinderella and get ready for the dance. Be careful. Okay. Are you driving? Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> 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 it's high school. 
it's your senior year. It's like so important and you remember that stuff when you're older. And I wouldn't be able to remember that and be like, look back on it and feel that I did, I had fun. That's right. That's Nico, one of the few boys in the sport, is also gearing up for the Harrisburg show. Pretty solid, Nico. But first, he's going on an extraordinary shopping spree. Each year, Nico and his mother travel 4,500 miles to buy horses in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I think we've been traveling for about seven hours, and uh, should be pretty close. I think we're about an hour away. We're on our way to the farm, and uh, now you'll get to see how they drive in Argentina, which can <laughs> sometimes be very scary. Scary or not, the driving isn't Nico's biggest concern. Always in the back of his mind is the McClay final. Even though he's set with a horse for this year's competition, his mission in Argentina is to find one for next year. This is the farm where we're going to be spending most of our time. This is where I buy most of my horses from Marlene and Ricardo. Marlene and Ricardo are world-renowned horse breeders. They have more than 800 horses, most of which they bred themselves from European bloodlines. Look, little pinto babies. The babies, one and two-year-old horses, are divided into huge pastures by age and gender. What about that one over there? That one looks kind of nice. Well, that's something very special. So I can't pick that one? Everything you can pick. <laughs> Just buy some checkbook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most are a breed from Belgium called Zangerscheid, known for their incredible jumping ability. Going out to the fields of horses is really interesting because most people don't get to experience that. Horses are skittish by nature. But Nico knows how to win their trust. I squatted down so the horse will come up to you. They're not afraid that way. She can see this one's getting more confidence in me. And the rest of them are too, because this one sort of led them here. So they're all come up now. Basically, you'll get to see the um, two-year-olds in Argentina. Tomorrow, they'll look for Nico's new equitation horse. But tonight, it's all about getting back to nature. When I come to Argentina and I see the horses in the field like this, it just brings everything full circle. It's, it's what, you know, it's supposed to be about. To just come out to this field and see the horses in their natural state and to see my child sort of frolicking with the horses is cool. It's just, you know, it's the coolest thing in the world. It makes me emotional. <laughs> With the big McClay final just one week away, every horse and rider team is counting on one thing to pull them through, their partnership. He's my best friend. Having a partnership with an animal is a special thing. Superstars Brian and Logan have been together for three years. We're really a team. Logan and I. For the last six months, Brian's barn mate Maria has been riding a leased horse named Amigo. Amigo has amazing talent, but he isn't exactly friendly. Come here, Amigo. See? Look, he won't eat. Hey. Look at his face. He would never do this for his room or his ride. Look at him. Come here, Amigo. Good boy. See, he hates me. <laughs> Over the last six months, Amigo has formed a special bond with Maria. Hi. Good night. Oh, you want to come visit everyone? Together, they took first place at the McLeod Regionals. Maria and Amigo should be top contenders at the McLeod final. But now, Frank has to give Maria some devastating news. Right now, the, the, the biggest problem we have with Maria and, and Amigo, he's just been sold. So it's looking like Maria's not going to have Amigo at the McLeod finals. Do you know the people who tried Amigo at Devon? 
I guess things went a lot faster than I anticipated, and Monday morning he's going to be on a flight to California. Maria will have to give up her McClay partner and her good friend. No, I'm not so upset that um, that I'm not going to get to do him in McClay. I'm just, I'll be more I'll be more sad that. He's leaving because I formed such a relationship with sure. him. And You're going to get more and more of these nice horses, but you also have to be able to be in the position to let it go. Yeah. Maria can still ride Amigo at the Harrisburg Medal this weekend, but she'll have to scramble to find another horse for the McClay. Hey. Meanwhile in Argentina, Nico has the opposite problem. Too many horses to choose from. We're going to be riding until the sun goes down today. I don't know what time it goes down here in Argentina. Nico and his mom are looking for a new horse for Nico to ride at next year's McClay final. Dogs is our one. It's fun trying out all these horses in Argentina. You get to ride a lot of nice young ones. Free jumping, or loose jumping, is a method used to evaluate a horse's potential even before a rider gets on his back. Um, I like to look at the horse's expression and see how he just reacts to the whole situation. You can tell a lot about a horse's heart and if he attacks the jumps or if he's sort of wussy about getting up to the jumps. See how easy that is? Uh, this definitely helps us decide which ones we want to get. It's just a question of whether we can afford them. In the end, Nico and his mom choose six horses to fly home to Florida. Thank you for everything. It's another great trip. Now, they'll have a new stable of horses to work with next year, and maybe a future McClay winner. Back in the U.S., Everyone has arrived at one of the oldest and most prestigious national competitions, the Harrisburg Medal Final. This will be the last time Maria and Amigo ride together. Brian's best friend Sloan has left her home in the country to compete. And Brian is already polishing and prepping for her big day with Logan tomorrow. It's a really important horse show. It's one of the four equitation finals. Trainer Frank Madden has arrived confident that his team will do well. I don't want to predict the winner. I don't want to jinx myself. I'd say there's, uh, there's about 10 riders who have a strong shot. And all I'm going to say is I think I will be involved with one of those winners. When you come in... Lindsay and her horse LV have also arrived in Harrisburg, ready to win. If they place in the top 10 here, they will automatically qualify for the McClay. But it won't be easy. You know, here you'll get riders from all over the place, some really, really good and some, you know, decent. But with Brianne and Nico, you've got, they're the best. And they're here, and it's, it's almost like an honor to be showing with them. The chances are slim for Lindsay. She hasn't placed in this event. This will be her third year doing it, and I would say she's really not one of the favorites. Uh, she certainly has the horse that can take her there. She just has to be on and just have a flawless round. Can Lindsay and LV beat the odds and beat Brianna and Nico? Tomorrow, Lindsay's McClay future will be decided. It's 10 p.m. in the warm-up ring. Time for the Beacon Hill riders to sneak in one last practice before tomorrow's competition. We're doing a night lesson. Um, it's just kind of the only time the ring is quiet besides early morning. Brian's best friend Sloan also trains with Frank Madden. Frank will probably set up a course that, pretty tricky course. So this is like the last opportunity for the kids to get out and practice, maybe work out any of their last minute nerves that they might have. For Frank's youngest student, Chelsea, this show is a chance to redeem herself. Anatella's refusal at last week's show really rocked her confidence. That was one of the worst days of my life. I let everybody down. Frank, Anatello, my family. And worst of all, I let myself down. I just wanted to dig a hole and never come out. 
honestly, the only thing I can feel is like, I'm just gonna have to try harder. You can't like dwell on it at all, because then you'll just screw up again, so. It motivates me because, hey, I don't like getting yelled at, and I'm sure no one else does, so you don't want to go through that again. The big medal final at Harrisburg is about to begin. Nico and his mother are exhausted from a late night of training. Um, I got about two and a half hours of sleep last night. Wendy and Nico have a long haul ahead of them. The Harrisburg medal final takes place all in one grueling day. There are three phases. First, all the riders compete over a course of jumps. Then, the judges select the top 25 for a second round. Finally, the best five riders perform a test to determine the winner. And since there are 279 horses and riders competing, things have to start at the crack of dawn. We're here so early because we have the medal finals walk. They make us walk at 6.15 no matter where we go in the order. So those of us that go late have to wake up early and come here, and then we watch 10 and go back to sleep. Nico and his mother pace the distance between jumps so Nico can plan how to ride the course. We have the good fortune of going 201st, so we can walk this course, watch a few go, and then get some sleep. Lindsay and her trainer, Kim, are also walking the course. Lindsay's performance today is critical. It's like Anne set a picnic out there trying to walk around and find the jumps, and, but there's, there's a excitement in the air nervousness in some of the other girls' parts. If Lindsay and her horse LV place in the top 10 today, they'll win a spot at the McClay final. This is their last chance. You know, I've been with LV for almost, this will be my fourth fall with him, and if I don't know him by now, then something's wrong. So um, <laughs> if I'm there for him and he's there for me, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There you go. At 7 a.m. sharp, the competition gets underway. The winner tonight will take home one of the biggest prizes in junior riding, the Harrisburg Equitation Medal. Nico and Lindsay both drew high numbers, so they won't ride until late in the day. I'm just trying to stay cool and fresh as much as I can, because since I go 260th, I have a lot of hours until I go, so, and the last thing I want to do is fry my brain. But Nico has another plan. This is the uh, Harrisburg tradition. If we don't go early, we sleep. So I've learned to become a bedmate. When he's snoring openly, it's not pretty. Since Brian's number is 33, she and Logan ride early. To place in the top 25, they must have a nearly perfect ride. When you get to the finals, it's kind of like whose moment it is, you know, who's, who's on their best game. If Brian and Logan win tonight, they will be on their way to becoming superstars in their sport. A third of the winners here have gone on to represent the U.S. in international competitions, including the Olympics. With a beautiful round under her belt, Brian's chances of making history have just gone up. Meanwhile, Chelsea's big challenge is her nerves. We let her do a few little early warm-up jumps and just, just to keep Chelsea a little busy. And After her big mistake at last weekend's show, Chelsea is eager to do well. Chelsea's very good today. Her attitude is very good. All set? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What? Yes. All eyes are on Chelsea and on Otello. And this time, they prove they belong. Chelsea rides with smooth confidence. And on Otello responds perfectly. Their hard work has paid off.
it's an amazing comeback. Honest to God, you rode so far beyond your ability today. It was incredible. I mean, that's... Uh, I guess that's good. It's all just a bit too much for Chelsea's mom. Oh, you're crying! Mom, it's okay. I know it's okay. I'm really proud of you. That's the one. It's 2.30, and round one of the Harrisburg medal final is in full swing. After a flawless round, Rihanna and Logan are still in the running for their third junior medal. Nico, ranked number eight in the nation.